Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this trippy text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about logo animation in depth then don't forget to check out my Udemy course, link is available in the description. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time. Let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920. Height we will choose 180. Frame rate is 30. Duration is 30 second long and not 30 second but uh, this time we will choose two sec minute long and background color is black color and simply hit ok then hit ctrl n again and let's call it as text and height over here i'm going to choose to 200 like this and then go to the text tool and type our text i'm going to type motion like this select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s and let's increase the size of this text like this select this change the color to red select this layer and hit ctrl d and change the text to m and we will change the color to white and let's try to adjust this over here hit ctrl d and change the text to o hit ctrl d and change the text to t Hit Ctrl D and change the text to I. We will copy this O. Hit Ctrl D and let's bring this over here. Hit Ctrl D and change this text to N. Like this. And let's give it this reference layer. So this is our text. Select all of these layers and press P for position. Create one keyframe. For all of them and go to around one second select all of them create another keyframe then we will take a distance of 10 frames we will create another keyframe then we will go somewhere around over here and we will create another keyframe go to the start press V for selection tool or you can simply select the selection tool and initially move this out of this composition over here also at last select this keyframes and move this out of this composition okay and select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this move this graph over here select this and move this handle over here so if you see you will get this kind of animation now select this and by holding alt we will increase this duration up to 4 seconds so if you see this animation now we will get this then we will get this now i am going to take a distance of 5 5 frames and let's move this over here so we will adjust this text like this so if i see this now i'll get something like this okay let's go to the start select all of them and by holding alt open square bracket we will trim this up to this go to the start and we will move this over here now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression over here simply by hitting ctrl a select this text and hit ctrl c to copy alt click over here and hit ctrl v ctrl v ctrl v and ctrl v okay so if you see this now we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop okay now let's go to the main animation com and first of all go over here let's zoom out totally and simply hit ctrl a and make sure that you are at the end completing this stuff over here then go to the main animation and bring our text comp over here and at this point uh, press uh, go inside this and press ctrl y to create one solid background 
choose any color just for the reference like this select this and go over here and enable the snapping hit ctrl d and by hold uh, you can snap this over here hit ctrl d and snap this over here hit ctrl d snap this over here hit ctrl d and snap this over here now this one this one and this one by holding shift i'm going to select and i'll bring them at the top over here i'm gonna right click go to the time and time reverse layers over here okay so now if i see this animation i'll get this kind of weird stuff over here also in this one what i want that uh, uh, they should be in the form of loop now if you go inside this select any layer for example this one hit u or let's select this hit u and if you see over here my final looping point is at four seconds so whenever i'm gonna uh, end my animation at four seconds for example if i go to the start over here at this point if i hit n and if i hit play i'll get this animation in the form of loop okay so uh, this is one thing that you need to understand that your animation is going to be in the form of loop at four seconds then over here i'm going to select this one and let's bring this at the top then select this one then bring this at the second select this one this should be third this one should be fourth and this one should be fifth now let's go to around five second select this one and move this over here go to 10 seconds select this one move this over here go over here select this move this over here go over select this move this over here select all of them and go to the start and simply move this stuff over here so if you see in this animation their animation they will get difference but our animation is going to be in the form of loop still now simply select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as animation group and hit ok go to the text and we will hide this uh, purple layer or we can simply delete this like this now press ctrl y to create one saw background go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp effect and simply double click to apply select this press ctrl shift c and let's call it as map and make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and we will hide this we will select this animation group layer we'll go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for time displacement effect and double click to apply and we are going to select this map over here so now if i see this animation over here i'll get something like this but this is a uh, if you see uh, we are not getting looping animation but we will fix that later uh, right now we will see uh, only this stuff now select both the layers press ctrl shift c and we will call it as animation okay now hit ctrl d up to five times select the fifth layer apply fill effect on it and choose red color select the fourth apply fill effect change this color to green uh, select this third layer apply fill effect change the color to blue uh, select the second layer and apply find edge effect on it and invert this like that zoom in a little bit hit page down button two times select this fourth layer move this over here again two times move this over here two times two times so now if you see this stuff you will get this kind of animation now this animation should start from here so i'll hit b over here so after this uh, we need to do our animation in the form of loop so as you guys know that after four second uh, this is going to be in the form in previous after four second it is going to be in the form of loop so what we'll do i'll go to around four second over here and i'll hit b over here and then uh, at this po portion let's see if we can do some marking for looping so as you guys can see this is a uh, m uh, uh, kind of structure over here so i'll hit ctrl r over here and i'll mark this m like this only for the white portion of this m and this uh, over here then i'll go forward and then we will check out when this 
proper m is going to happen so hit page down button one time or two times until unless that m should be proper inside this reading again so as you guys can see at this point this m properly inside this grid so hit n over here so now if i see this animation i'll get this animation continuously in the form of loop so this is how you can create this tripe animation also in the form of loop and obviously if you see in full resolution it will look a little bit nicer right now it was in quarter resolution and then if you want you can select the last three key frames and you can choose screen press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this backward like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of trippy text animation